day six of the 10 day equestrian challenge. Uh, let's get cracking with today's exercises. So we're going to start on tabletop pose. We've done this a couple of times. So just uh, wrists below your shoulders, knees below your hips. And then what we're going to do from here is make sure we're nice and strong, tight through our core, belly button sucked in, up towards our spine. And then we're going to keep our um, feet onto the floor. We're going to lift up through our knees. Okay, so we're going to hover. So we're going to do a little hovering table. And then when we're in this position, you can either stay here or you can join me in a little hover, cat and cow. So on the inhale, you're going to drop your belly, you can lift your gaze, tailbone goes up. And on the exhale, round and contract. So you'll find that you won't be able to move as much through this position as normal, but you should feel a little bit more of your abs working away, okay? So this works your spine, and it also works your belly, okay? So remember this position corrects a hollow back in the saddle, um, helps with a little bit of straightness, and also engages our core today. So then we'll relax that back down. And then from here, what we're gonna do is straighten our left leg back, okay? And you're just gonna hold, and you're gonna feel a nice stretch down your calf muscle, push that heel backwards, keep your core tight, belly button sucked in towards your spine, and just gonna press down through your heel. This will help create a long leg, low heel, nice effective aids of the leg. Wiggle forward on my mat. <laughs> my foot slipping. And then now we're going to drop onto the inner edge of our, our left foot, roll over, and lift up with our left hand. So we stack one shoulder above the other, nice and strong for your core. We we'll just do a side plank here. And then from this position, if you want to, you can stay here. If you want to join me a little bit harder, we're going to lift our left leg up. Okay, I'm just going to hold it here, strong for your core, as this works on the inner part of our leg. That's good, and now we're going to start to move our legs. So on the exhale, you're going to lower your leg to the ground, don't touch the ground, and on the inhale, lift it up. So we lower and lift, really working our side body here. Good, this is a bit of a full body workout. If you need to take a break, you can tap your foot to the ground and lift it back up. We'll just do a couple more. That's good. And then when it's back in line with your hip, you're gonna, you can either stay here or you can bend back through your left knee. Grab a hold of your left foot with your left hand and push your foot into your hands. So you have a little bit of a stretch. So just watch here. We want everything in line with your hip. So we don't want your ankle to go higher than your hip or your knee. So we're on a nice straight line, really feeling that stretch. You can look back if you want to. Have a little arch in your back. And then we're going to relax it back down onto the mat. And we're going to go ahead, go onto our, our hands and our knees again. We're going to do down to a forearm plank, so elbows onto the ground. You want your elbows roughly, so if you take your hands, you want your fingertips to be able to touch your elbows on the opposite arm, and then you want to um, insert your fingers, and then you're going to go down onto your feet, if you can here. Okay, shoulder blades down away from your ears, and then one at a time, we drop one knee, then the other. Okay, so we work in this little bit of a movement, keeping your core nice and tight, keep breathing, and just bend and flex your knees. Now, if you find this a little bit difficult, you can rest your knee and then lift it back up. Rest your knee and then lift it back up. But if not, just gently tap the ground with your knee. Keep that core tight. If you want to, you can widen your legs, your feet a little bit more and hip width distance apart. Just keep working through them. Just really feel the core light up for today. Just a couple more. And then relax your knees back down to the mat. From here, keep your knees, your hips above your knees. Work your fingertips out in front of you. Stretch down into a little puppy stretch. Again, this is really good for straightening that upper back if you have any slouching in the saddle. 
Sort of shoulder blades are tight. And then we're going to work our fingertips back in. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that sequence on the other side. Okay, so I'm only facing the wrong way now. But you're going to keep your left arm planted onto the ground. With your right foot, you're going to take it to the twist. So you have your um, the inner edge of your foot under the mat. And then you're going to stack your right shoulder above your left. And then we're going to go ahead and lift up our left leg. So you might stay here and just balance. Or you might join me with tapping lightly onto the ground. Okay. That's it, keep breathing, find the rhythm. Remember, it's not speed with these exercises, it's more slow, with control, nice precise movements. Keeping that alignment. Your right hip is stacked over your left. Your right shoulder is stacked over your left. Couple more. And then here, if you want to, you can hold or you can join me in a little bit of a bind, bringing, bending your right knee, grabbing a hold of your right ankle and pushing your right ankle in, out towards your hands. Feel that stretch down your quadriceps. That's it, keep the balance. Watch your ankle doesn't go higher than your hip. Watch your knee doesn't drop. And then we relax it back down, back into your tabletop pose. Okay, so from here, we're just going to slow it down with control and jump belly. Okay, we'll just do a little back bend. That's good, heart forward, shoulder blades down away from your ears. And then relax down. Okay, now from here, you're going to keep your forehead onto the mat, so always facing down. You're going to take your arms and you're going to make your elbows go in line with your shoulders and your arms are going to be at a 90 degree angle. Okay? Now, from this position, you're going to keep your feet flat on the ground, your core is going to be engaged, and you're going to lift up with your arms and your upper body. Okay? So your arms are off the mat, your arms are at 90 degrees, you're looking down towards the mat or to the carpet. And you can either hold here. Your upper body is up off the ground, as high as it can go. Okay, and if you want to join me for the next part, well, the easiest option here is you can come up, hold, and then you can relax slowly back down. And then you can come back up, hold, keep those feet pushed into the ground, and then relax back down. And then if you want to do a little bit of a harder variety, you can keep your um, upper body up off the ground. Imagine you've got a pencil between your shoulder blades, and you draw your elbows towards your body, squeezing that pencil, and then going back to 90 degrees. Okay, so keep working through those. Make sure your gaze keeps looking down towards the mat. We don't want to be looking forward here. I'm going to keep your spine nice and straight. So this is really good for if you've got a shoulder that drops when you're in the saddle, sitting slightly uneven. And it's good for getting that strength in your back. So you'll be able to keep a nice steady contact with riding the horse. And it's really good for straightening that upper body. And relax it back down. Okay, so we're now going to roll on over onto our belly. No, we're not going onto our back, we're already on our belly. Okay, so roll back over, lower down with control. Take a couple of minutes to ground yourself to the earth. So we want to keep that back pushed in like we did on day one. Bend your knees, okay, so always keep a nice alignment, your shoulders want to be above your hips, you don't want to be sitting skew width here, and then you want to draw your belly button down, that's it, nice flat back, we don't want any gaps underneath between you and the floor, and then we're going to go ahead, we're going to lift one leg up, and then the other, keep your gaze up towards the sky for this, we want our, sh our shins parallel with the sky, our core, we're going to do a little alignment check, is it tucked in? We do want that gap. Now, don't worry if your legs do come back a little bit further here. Take it to the point, we want to ideally have your knees above your hips, but if when you get to this position, you can't get your back tucked into the ground and keep it nice and flat and straight. If you can't do that, keep your knees a little bit further towards your body and stay in that position, okay? So we're going to stay here, keep your core tight, nice and engaged. So a couple of breaths. Now, we're going to interlace our fingers behind our neck, and we're going to lift up 
Okay, so keep our shoulders up and off the mat. We're going to keep our gaze towards the sky. Watch them curl up and try and get up towards your thighs. We're going to just hold this here. Okay. Watch your elbows here. Keep them nice and wide. Watch they're not tucking in. Look up towards the sky. And I'm going to tap one foot, then the other. We'll tap the toes. Look, foot really light. So right leg goes down, back up. Left leg goes down, back up. And then right leg down and back up. So we tap really soft, really light. I shouldn't be able to hear you do this. Well, I definitely will because I'm not with you. Um, you don't want to be footing down with really heavy feet. You go like this, that normally means your core not engaged. It's exactly the same as when you're with a horse. So if you hear a horse footing around the arena, their core is not normally engaged, they're not using their back, they've hollowed. You want nice, soft, light, Pia. There we go. Find the rhythm. Keep those elbows wide. Keep that core tight. And relax it back down to your head and slowly with your feet. So you should feel that in your belly. So from here to a little abdominal stretch, so lift up. Peel off your vertebrae by vertebrae. Little glute bridge. Feel that stretch down the front of your abs. Relax it back down. Cross at the ankles. And then we're going to now just work in a little bit of a wide-legged child's pose. So get your hips above your knees. Widen those knees. Wide what's comfortable. Work your fingertips forward and stretch down. That's it. Really good. This for a nice deep seat. Just opening up those hips. So today really worked on our core, um, mainly which will help you with your sitting tracks and your canter position. Get over your jumps as well. Um, and this is really good for deepening that speed, preventing gripping of the thighs and the knees, allowing our horse to work with more freedom underneath us and be a lot more comfortable. So, well done. That's it for today's exercises. I hope you enjoyed them and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!